Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the benefits in joining Initiative Q and the difference of Initiative Q versus Crypto. Okay, so without further ado, let's proceed to the um, facts. So what is Initiative Q? So Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future. The Q payment network will integrate the best in technology technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible, easy to use and inexpensive payment network. These technologies have been available for years but have not been adopted due to a classic chicken and egg barrier. The buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses. Initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free. So why should I join Initiative Q? So there are four and the first one is the earlier you join the higher your reward. We believe that Initiative Q will come will overcome the main barrier to a better payment system and has a good chance of becoming the global standard. But even if you give it just a 0.1 chance of success, think of it as a free lottery ticket. Number two, why not? It's free and safe. All you need to do is provide your name and email. email. Number three, by joining, you increase the chances of success and accelerate um, the transformation of the payment industry, a change that will benefit everyone. Eliminating the need to carry cash and or plastic and leading to lower costs, less fraud, and fewer scams. Number four, you will help reduce the enormous waste and pollution caused by Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, currently consuming as much energy as 6 million households. Okay, so what are the risks in signing up? What will you do with the data I provide? So there are no risks. It's safe and free to join. You just provide your name and email address. Store your personal data securely and we don't share it with anyone else. We will only email you regarding the project and your account. So if Initiative Q does not succeed, we will delete all data we have collected. So why do I need to confirm my email? What happens if I don't? So email confirmation helps ensure that accounts are created by real people and not bots. If you don't confirm your email, it will eventually be deleted from the system and your account will not be activated for or eligible for rewards. Why does an existing member need to verify me? A secure payment network requires that accounts be associated with real people. This is especially important that poten when potentially highly valuable rewards are at stake. Therefore, we require that all new members be verified by existing users to actually know them. There are incentives for verifying new members, as well as these incentives that discourage verification of contracts you don't know well or trust. In addition to preventing false registrations, this process builds a trust network, which can later be used to improve security. For example, if a buyer is purchasing a high volume item, it is important to verify that their account was not taken over. In that case, another member who has a trust relationship with the buyer can be asked to check that the buyer is aware of the transaction. So is this a pyramid or MLM scheme? So M pyramid schemes collect money from new members and distribute it to earlier members. In contrast, joining Initiative Q is completely free. So clearly, there is no money to hand up the pyramid to earlier members. Initiative Q does not reserve queues for members who join and more queues are reserved for early members and to those who invite their friends. However, the value of these queues will come from being, them being gradually accepted as a better currency in accordance with the equation of exchange in economics. So Initiative Q's marketing approach is not different than that used by many companies such as Dropbox, Uber, Airbnb, Zoho, and others that compensate users who invite their friends. In Initiative Q's case, New registrants may sometimes see more value in the reward, resulting in more invitations being sent. The requirement that new members be invited by existing users has an additional benefit, detailed in the previous question. 
So how can I get invited? What if my invite link doesn't work? So if you were invited by someone who has used up all their invites, you may ask them to connect you to a mutual friend whom you still have open invites. Otherwise, the two easiest ways to invite and to get to invited are submit a post on social media asking your friends whether any of them have already registered and could invite you. Number two, go to the initiative initiative Q page on Facebook or Twitter and see which of your friends follow or like initiative Q. They may already be registered. The three all right, so that was that's the two. So what is an initiative Q evangelist and how do I become one? So every new member can invite and verify a limited number of friends. This helps ensure a diverse community of Q members and avoids concentrating the rewards among a small clique. However, people who successfully complete all of their initial invites are upgraded to Initiative Q evangelists. Evangelists get additional time and invites to invite others and reserve new queues. Can I register multiple times and get more queues? So you may only open one account using your true deta details. Providing fake details, details of another person, or opening multiple accounts will result in the removal of all accounts and their queue balances. Note that this also applies to accounts of the same person using different sign-up methods, opening one account, queue account using Facebook and another using Twitter. So that is um, the frequently asked questions and joining initiative queue. So as you can see, this is very, very um, nice since um, the, uh, the limited and invite is so, so beneficial because it will... Um, not concentrate on a, on a click. I mean, the distribution of the queues will not be focused on one click only, so it will be spread out. Okay. So this uh, it's not a pyramid scheme, also. So as you can see here, uh, there's no money to hand up the pyramid to earlier members since there is no money involved when you join. Okay. So, initiative queue, right? So let's go to the difference between queues and cryptos. So how is this different from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? So cryptocurrency is a brilliant solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Cryptocurrency is digital, digital money that is hard to counterfeit. While the mathematical foundation is genius, ingenious, an immutable money ledger is far from being a major need today. Our money is already digital in the form of bank computer records and no one is worried that these records will suddenly disappear. This is due to a robust system of trust and governance that protects individuals from such risks. While many dislike this complex system and works reasonably well, there is still another in no better alternative. In fact, the anti-counterfeiting measures that cryptocurrencies offer create an array of much worse problems. So number one, transferring security risks to the currency owners. So removing banks from the system also removes the protection that banks provide in security, fraud prevention, and dispute resolution, leaving individuals vulnerable to theft, scams, and human errors. To protect themselves, cryptocurrency users are expected to undertake complicated security procedures such as generating cryptographic keys using dice, entering them into an unused laptop, that is later destroyed, storing the keys using special hardware from multiple manufacturers and keeping paper backs up, backups in bank safes. Comparing that to credit cards which also would allow consumers to make payments using just a few encrypted numbers while being fully protected from losses, underlies how far cryptocurrencies are from becoming the currency of the future. So number two, unstable value. A basic requirement for a currency stability and predictability predictability in purchasing power. This requires a carefully managed monetary policy that matches the money to supply to current economic activity. Cryptocurrencies have either no monetary policy or an overly simplistic one. As a result, their value fluctuates rapidly, rendering them unhelpful for, for purchases and trade, with all, with all activity driven instead by speculation. Legal controls. Whether we like it or not, Governments still hold ultimate power and they insist on regulating currency transfers, financial transactions, investments, and their underlying mechanisms. Any currency that attempts to circumvent such regulations, including most cryptocurrencies, will face an uphill battle. 
to wide-scale adoption. Reversibility. No matter how good a system is, if humans are involved, there will, all, there will always be mistakes and misunderstandings. Allowing transactions to be reversed benefits both buyers and sellers in the long term, as customers can engage in the market more confidently. Of course, reversing a transaction should be allowed for only for certain reasons, something that can only be determined by human beings following procedures. This goes against the decentralized nature of cryptocurrencies, making wide-scale adoption difficult. Waste. So Bitcoin's energy consumption is equivalent to that of 6 million households and emits 90 million kilograms of carbon dioxide. So that is um, 200 million pounds every day. Worst of all, uh, all that energy is spent to support just two transactions per second, a far cry from thousands of transactions per second on the credit card network. So Initiative Q's main goal is to achieve global adoption. And Initiative Q therefore prioritizes ease of use, stability, security, efficiency, and legality over abstract, abstract goals like decentralization. This is a real-world solution for real-world problems. It is based on a network of Q agents who employ thousands of people to conform to local regulations and ensure that members receive quality consumer, I mean customer service and are fully protected from theft and scams without requiring them to become security experts. However, most of the concepts behind cryptocurrency are valuable and may be deployed in Initiative Q's back end for settlement between Q agents, but these disadvantages, disadvantages become negligible. So is this an ICO? No. ICO or initial coin offering is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe the public sale um, of newly issued coins. Initiative Q's goal is to become a standard in payments and to create a global currency that requires adoption by hundreds of millions of members, which will not happen if they are required to pay. Q's will therefore be distributed for free. So how is this different from an airdrop? So airdrop is a term used in the cryptocurrency world to describe free distribution of coins, while Initiative Q will distribute free currency that by itself is not enough to revolutionize payments. It cannot only succeed, it can only succeed in synergy with two other actions, so requiring members to undertake simple tasks to qualify for the rewards. These are tasks that promote wide-scale adoption for Q for the benefit of all its members. Um, number two, Development of a state-of-the-art payment system, the eventual success of Q is based on it, being the safest, easiest, and cheapest way to trade. The free distribution of coins is only interesting in so much as it promotes the adoption of advanced payment technologies. And additionally, Initiative Q is not a cryptocurrency, which allows it to avoid the many shortcomings of cryptocurrencies. Okay, so that are the difference of Qs and cryptos. Right, guys? So that is my, that are my topic for today. So the, diff, uh, the first one was joining Initiative Q, and the second one was choose versus crypto, right? So I think that's it. Um, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor, uh, and you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay? So check out my description below. Uh, in that description below, the links about Initiative Q. Okay. So this has been Vic once again and thank you, see you on the next video, bye bye.